better from the last time you saw me guys so thank you for the prayers thank you for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate your time your support your love thank you god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe can you please click on that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, uh, this video is a requested video from one of my subscribers and it goes as Bella, are interracial marriages hard? <laughs> it's a bit tricky but guys I'm going to be giving you some answers because I've got experience in that because I am in an interracial marriage and I've also been helping interracial couples who are married already so what I'm going to be sharing here will be based on my own experience being married to a white man an Italian <laughs> and also the experience that I've got helping other interracial couples so it is going to be only the truth you all know that I'm always honest with you I don't hide anything from you so that you guys be aware <laughs> of these things <laughs> so guys I am going to go straight to the point and answer this question are interracial marriages hard i'm going to tell you that yes they are hard it's not easy guys at all <laughs> but i'm going to be explaining to you why i am saying that interracial marriages are hard and guys you need to be very very careful i know ladies who follow me on this channel most of my subscribers are very very interested in having interracial marriages but guys you need to be very careful because interracial marriages are not easy <laughs> they are very very hard in fact when I think of a black woman and a black man marriage and then I think of an interracial marriage <laughs> marriage between a black woman and a white man I think an interracial one is even more harder guys yes and I'm going to be telling you why am I saying this? My number one point is going to be cultural differences. Cultural differences can make an interracial marriage become very hard. Yes, why am I saying this? We are going to take an example, or oh, let's imagine you are a black African woman born and raised in Africa. We have our own culture, we have our own traditions, the way we do our things and you come across a white man you fall in love you decide to get married this white man has got his own culture traditions and the way they do things so you find that if you decide to get married it's a lady who relocates in this man's country i mean a white man's country let's say europe and you find that everything is different to what you are used to the culture is different how they do things is totally different <laughs> yes and if a man is not patient enough to let you adjust then fights will start from there <laughs> and not only that guys if you have been watching my videos i also talked of whereby you find that a white man is not allowing a lady to practice her culture <laughs> example like he is not allowing her to eat her traditional food so it's going to be a problem especially in a long run because sometimes you just ignore and say okay let me keep on practicing his culture and adjust so that i can integrate and you know my life is here but again if a guy doesn't want to respect you enough respect your culture then that interracial marriage becomes very hard that is why I'm telling you guys interracial marriages are very very hard because if you're married to a black man just like you you are a black woman and he is a black guy you understand each other's culture traditions the way you do things is the same so that thing of cultural differences 
will not be there completely but for an interracial couple oh my god if you guys are not ready to come together and accept each other's culture it's a very big problem not only that guys there are culture shocks <laughs> if you relocate to this man's country you will find a lot of culture shocks like me guys <laughs> there is this culture shock that i've never talked about <laughs> italians it really shocked me i even discussed it with my friend she's married to an italian guy and we are like oh my god what have we got ourselves into <laughs> yes so this culture shock goes as this I'm going to first talk of in my country how we do things or how we do this so if you have a sick person at home like maybe you have let's say your mother-in-law is sick in Africa <laughs> or your grandparent is sick so this grandparent if he is sick he, he's going to be taken to the hospital get treated and if God calls him then he's going to be taken to a mortuary and stay there do the funeral preparations and bury him okay but also if this grandparent god calls him <laughs> at home he was not in the hospital what we do in africa in tanzania if god calls the grandparent or the grandmother who has been sick or he was okay or she was okay completely but god decided to take him or her maybe she's old then what we do we will take the body to the hospital to the mortuary the body is going to stay there we will do our preparations the funeral preparations if it takes three days then the body will stay there till the day of the burial yes the day of the burial the body will be brought at home will be brought at home so that the loved ones can say goodbye and then taken to the church the pastors to pray for it then the burial process but in italy guys <laughs> example if you have a sick person or let's say your grandparent or your loved one and then god decide to call him or her and he is at home what they do they don't take the body to the mortuary no in italy they don't the body will stay at home <laughs> while you will do all the preparations of the burial and what i've noticed they don't take so long to bury the body no it may take one day or two days then done so it is going to stay at home with the loved ones all that time yes <laughs> you sleep with it wake up with it yes it will stay there so one time i was asking my husband like why are you doing this why it's so strange for us in tanzania when someone god calls him or her they take her to the mortuary in the hospital he was like no you people are so bad why should you take him or her to the mortuary he's supposed or she's supposed to stay with the loved ones because <laughs> here if you do that you will be considered like you are inhuman and you don't have any love <laughs> to that relative that god decided to call so the body staying at home for italians it means love you love this person that is why you don't want to send this person away to the mortuary in the hospital something that is very different to how we do things in tanzania so that was a culture shock and me and my friend we were surprised guys <laughs> so sometimes you can decide to take a culture shock in a positive way or some people take it in a negative way and decided to give up on their marriages yes number two of why i say that interracial marriages are hard is how you guys met <laughs> how did you meet and how well do you know each other if you don't well know each other and then you rush into this marriage because you want a white guy or you want to be in an interracial marriage you think it's all you know <laughs> 
beautiful you know good life the man will be very honest with you <laughs> very romantic dear sister it's going to be hell life for you so with this i'm going to be giving you an advice to please don't rush into marriage get to know a guy very well and if you're a guy get to know a lady very well yes get to know each other very well this will help you when you get married at least you know each other very well though guys <laughs> you can't know someone completely i remember when i was at the age of 25 years i used to work with this colleague of mine actually he was my supervisor he was married for 10 years and at that time he was 25 he was in his 50s so one day he was saying that oh my god i came to know that it's hard to know someone completely because i've been living with my wife for 10 years just yesterday i discovered a new behavior of her when i thought i knew her very well so provided that it is hard to know someone very very well but i advise you to take your time to know a guy very well especially a guy that you are going to be sacrificing leaving your parents leaving your friends leaving your country to join him in his country so it's good it's better you know him very well so that your marriage can work because if you rush the problem is if you rush into marriage with this white man and then you come to discover some of his behaviors and some of the behaviors guys you can't even tolerate them or if you decide to ignore them or if you decide to tolerate them and live with them then it means that you are going to be sad for the rest of your life yes so please get to know someone very well you come across a white man let it be on online dating apps or even in real life you fall in love please don't rush even if the guy is on a rush to marry you mm -mm. don't make that decision of jumping into marriage immediately get to know the guy very well assure yourself i've been singing of being sure assure yourself that the guy is real he really loves you he really wants to spend the rest of his life with you and you are okay with his behavior and yes guys i know there are some ladies who met their white men and immediately they married at first without even knowing the guy very well they got married and things are going good they are lucky but don't depend on that no please take your time to know a guy i repeat interracial marriages are very hard if you're going to rush into that marriage <laughs> yes yeah. so number three of why i'm saying interracial marriages are hard is expectations and i'm going to explain to you why am i talking about expectations <laughs> so we have technology uh whereby we have instagram we have tiktok we have you know facebook and and with this all social media thing we have been seeing interracial couples showcasing their lifestyles and some of these couples you find that they're living a very luxurious lifestyle showcasing that showcasing richness <laughs> yeah being so in love with each other perfection yes showcasing that and two sad guys you find there is a young lady out there a black young lady looking up to these couples on social media interracial couples and wishing to find a white man that is like you know what she is seeing on social media <laughs> and this girl will do anything that she can to find that white man and if she is lucky she will find him get married but the problem comes guys when she gets married and things turns out not to be the way she expected she's going to be frustrated she's going to be depressed and that marriage might even end 
it is not what she expected due to what she used to see on social media before getting married or before wanting to be in an interracial marriage or interracial relationship so that way that interracial marriage is going to be very very hard <laughs> this reminds me of one of my friends who was searching for a white man and eventually she got that white man asked me a question she was like bella i know you are married to a white man so i want you to answer me this do you go to a restaurant or those romantic dinners three times a week with your husband i was like no <laughs> not at all but in a month we can go maybe two times or three times you know those romantic dinners and there is a month whereby you can go once and there is a month whereby you cannot even go on a romantic dinner you just eat at home and life goes on and she was like oh my god i used to believe that if you get married to a white man you are going to be going on a romantic dinner almost every day <laughs> why are you saying so she told me i used to follow those interracial couples who are married on tiktok on instagram i watch their lives so i used to imagine that kind of a thing i told her no it's not like that so you see guys someone can even get married and then when they live with this guy <laughs> a guy takes her on a romantic dinner after three months she starts complaining and thinking that the guy does not love her then that marriage becomes hard <laughs> yes so guys you have to open your eyes i told you white men are normal people just like any other man of any color and life is normal guys the difference is that it's europe and there is africa <laughs> that is the only difference but when we talk about lavish lifestyle it all depends on the pockets of the guy or the lady it's not all white men <laughs> people have got different source of income they have got different income some earn higher salaries or high income in their businesses some earn here and some here <laughs> yes so it's not all white men that go on a romantic dinner three times a week or that will shower you with gifts all the time not all you think of vacations guys there are black women married to white men and they have not gone on a vacation i don't know maybe for even three years <laughs> <laughs> yeah but when you go on instagram you will see these interracial couples traveling the world <laughs> going everywhere <laughs> and you might think it's all interracial couples who do that no guys it depends with someone's life please remove that in your mind <laughs> yes get to know the guy that you are dating before you get married number four to why i'm saying interracial marriages are hard this one i'm going to take an example we are going to be imagining <laughs> okay so you are a black african lady you come across a white guy you fall in love decide to get married you relocate to europe you are going to have a lot of friends there are people you used to know before and they were not even your friends but they are going to become your friends after you have got married to a white man you are going to have a lot of friends back home in africa and even here you know in europe you are going to have lots of friends yes but if you are not careful those same friends some of them who are just jealous or who don't want you to be happy but pretending to be your friends they are going to be giving you a lot of advice <laughs> and if you're new here then you come across a black lady living here already then becomes like maybe a sister you know as africans when we find ourselves in a foreign land we become like sisters okay so be very careful because some of these friends 
might be wanting a bad life for you and this has been happening a lot actually there is a lady who divorced her husband just because she met wrong people to advise her here in Europe you gotta be very careful with the friends you make back home and here in Europe and my advice to you guys your best friend should be your husband first yes because he is the one that brought you here he is the one that got married to you so I don't know why you should depend so much on friends to advise you or to I don't know why you should do that your husband should be your best friend he should be the one to show you everywhere he should be the one you know to advise you in everything if there is a misunderstanding between you and your husband please please be careful here on who you are going to ask for an advice <laughs> yes because if you go and ask a wrong person trust me your marriage is over you will get a divorce because this person is going to advise you you have to be independent leave that man he's so bad he's so that you gotta live your life independently you'll find another man who is more good than that they're going to advise you like that a wrong person is going to advise you like that because they don't construct not at all but they destroy <laughs> so be careful of who you will ask advice be careful with who you are going to share your problems with yes i know here in the diaspora sometimes you feel lonely sometimes you need someone to talk to be careful of whom you talk to so that you can protect your marriage so that you can protect yourself that is my advice and too sad is that the same people that will tell you leave your husband ask for a divorce when you are in trouble they live here they won't even help you they might even block you <laughs> on all social media platforms that you can communicate to them so that is why i'm telling you be very careful of whom you talk to when you have your problems maybe relationship problems be so careful <laughs> yes interracial marriages are very very hard you know if you are married to a fellow black man and you are in africa you have your mother you have your sisters you have you know people that you know they really love you and they want the best for you you'll be able to share your relationship problems or your problems with them and they will advise you good because they want the best for you but when you are here it's hard they are far away so if you want like an emotional help some advice someone to talk to who is near then you gotta be very choosy so dear friends i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share it to your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video or do you think interracial marriages are easy or they are hard just like the way i think put your comments down <laughs> i would really be happy to read your comment yes until next time i love you so much guys you're always here Thank you.